the next morning. Huh? huh? Where is him? Is he already up? Why are you awake? It's still early in the morning. Early? It's already past 10 a.m., Mari. Oh, it's just you. Just me? At least try to look like someone who's thrilled to see your best friend. Nah, don't mind her. She's currently madly in love with her husband. They finally shared the bed last night. Since when have you two been so interested in my love life? For your information, we just slept in the same bed. Boring. Would she stop? Oh no, she's grumpy. Better keep our distance from her. Very funny. Wait, what is this? Just something your beloved husband left for you. Is that so? Bonjour, sleepyhead. Hope you had sweet dreams after you fell back to sleep. I'd be delighted to see you at the library once you wake up. You shall not worry. I made sure that this rose is healthy and blooming as ever. Sincerely, your Prince Charming. Must be a cheesy love letter, huh? Indeed. <laughs> Stop it, girls. Jokes aside, I'm really happy for you. Both Nino and I have been rooting for so long for the two of you. It was about time. Thank you, Alia. I must admit, a part of me is still unable to comprehend that we're together. Considering not only our past, but, but the recent inconvenience we encountered. Marinette told Tiki and Alia everything. She told them Emily's insane plot, how she confronted Felix, how Lady Rossi brought Mari to Felix's old study, only to make her hear just exactly the worst words, and how the two ladies believe their plan is fulfilled. <sighs> when I heard those words, I was really thinking the worst and wanted nothing t but to be alone, so I headed to the pavilion. That was when Felix found me, but before that, something strange happened. Just when Felix was to call for me in the pavilion, an Akuma appeared. If it weren't for Felix searching for me and telling me the truth, I'd probably believe those lies. An Akuma? An Akuma? That's not the shocking part. When it was about to touch me, it got destroyed. I have no idea what exactly happened, but I started glowing and that light killed the Akuma. Wait, so let me get this straight. Apparently, the prince's mother and Lila had a plan in which they wanted you to renounce the throne in favor of Felix. And on top of that, you somehow became immune to Akumas, even though you weren't even transformed. Huh? Oh yeah, would you please excuse us for a minute? I'd like to talk with Marinette alone. Ugh, fine. But tell me everything later, and don't take too long. Sure, of course. It was a white glow all around you, right? Yes, why? Do you remember what I told you during our first encounter? Of course. You said that only the gifted ones in my family can be bestowed upon with the Ladybug Miraculous. And they have to use it until their power awakens inside of them. Well, I think the time has come, Marinette. What? Although your magic is the creation and not the protection, but I'm certain that it was your power that came to the surface yesterday. To tell you the truth, I've been suspecting this for a while. Ever since the day you saved Chat Noir. I did... what? Well, can you recall how badly injured he was? Of course I can. I can never forget that scenery. Well then, you must remember that he had a serious injury on his stomach that magically vanished the next day. I didn't intend to tell you back then as I wasn't sure and you had enough duties to be concerned about, but... But now I'm certain it was from magic that healed Chat Noir. But my power is creating and not healing, Tiki. I'm not entirely sure about that either, but... But I believe your mother's magic somehow got united with yours. Wait, how would that be possible? As you know, Sabine couldn't awaken me when she put the earrings on, yet she owned magic in her veins. So what you're saying is that Mum's power is bestowed upon me too? Exactly. That ought to be the only explanation. Since most of the times the Ladybug Miraculous got passed from mothers to daughters in your family. Even though Sabine didn't have the power of creation inside of her, but she still was considered a gifted one thanks to her healing abilities. And this means that you not only hold one power, but two, which will make you the most powerful ladybug of all time. Half an hour later. Can it really be true what Tiki said? Was I really the one who saved Chad that day? Do I really own two magic powers? But I didn't even feel anything when that glow appeared. Or maybe. Huh? What's that sound? It's coming from here. A piano? But who's playing? Wait. Is that... It's Felix! It's great that the amusement park asked for a mass center. We are practically undercover. Yeah, not bad at all. Bust a balloon. Let's go there. I'll win something for you. What? I'd like to try, please. You don't need to do this. These games are obviously a scam. Hmm. Pop, pop, pop. Yes. Come on, pick one. 
Uh, mm. Are you sure you want that one? You've already got the real Chat Noir right next to you. Yep, I need a kitty with me for when you're not around, and this one is perfect. May I have this dance with the most beautiful lady in this place? As long as you don't try anything weird. How can you think that about me? Look how she lights up the sky. Ah, Bella Evangeline. So far above me, yet I know her heart belongs to only me. And Jaitaro, Jaitame. I adore you. I love you. Chat Noir! What? I'm just translating. Oh, my knight in shining armor, you saved me! Let me give you a kiss to thank you! <laughs> you never change, do you? I know Paris will be fine with any hero, but I can't be fine with any other ladybug but you. I don't know what would happen to me if I never saw you again. I understand how you feel. I wouldn't know what to do if you weren't here either. I still remember that I went crazy when you just left me in the ring and ran away. I was so afraid that I would never see you again, but you came back. I know that revealing our identities is still dangerous. I got this. It's something different. It's not a big deal. But this way, you'll know what I'm thinking about you. I'll just press this button and you'll know. Wherever you are, no matter what happens, you'll always have something to remind you how much I care about you. Meow, meow. Uh, and well, I have one for me too. Thank you so much, milady. I love it. Just don't make me regret this, okay, kitty? I'm exhausted. You're finally home. That was a tricky Akuma. Milady! <clears throat> it's been so long. You literally saw me this morning. Oh, it felt like an eternity. You are so silly! <clears throat> I love you. Aw, I love you too. Huh? Oh, Ladybug, are you okay? Uh, I think we're in the wrong timeline. <clears throat> you don't seem to be having a good time. Do you want to talk? <laughs> huh? The promotion was all a ruse. It was all my human idea to human trick you because it's in my human nature. Now you're not only bad at your job, but your mommy will be so disappointed that you didn't visit. And then they laughed at me for an hour. I feel very hurt about this. They said vicious things and then they, they pushed me down the stairs and... No, mother, they wouldn't let me go. I just told you I couldn't come visit because they tied me up and started bonking me on the head and... No, mother, I'm not lying. I'm sorry I couldn't come visit. Well, I don't have time now to... Ugh, fine, mother. I'll come over tonight. Just give me your address again. Because I just want to make sure I don't get lost. Well, I'm sorry I forgot it. I'm writing the address down right now so I don't forget. Yes, and in ink. Just tell me the address. I'm not yelling. I want you to take an entire squad to this address. Yes, ma'am. To do what? Burn everything down. Leave no survivors. A bad girl historian like myself is all about taking risk. So, let's boogie down History Town. Oh, you really are cool, Aunt Lilith. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please stop! Dude, do you remember what we had to do? That time we were left alone on a Mount Ein? The duels? The mazes with the traps? You can't stop here, Steve! We have to keep moving! Get up! I'm sorry, Hunter. I can't. Go on without me. Go. Be happy. And tell Lilith that she was the one. <sighs> Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Huh. Oh, classic. Rain, do you mind doing that magic trick again? Really, really makes the juice taste better. Oh, my pleasure, Ida. <sighs> Oh, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to do that! I'm so embarrassed! <laughs> it's fine, Rain. I'll get a new cup. But that wasn't weird. It's just what friends do, yeah. Totally normal. Why does Bellows' Mindscape have an entire portrait dedicated to Steve? Maybe Steve is actually a secret weapon vital for his secret plans. There has to be an explanation for this. I can punch all your buns, I can punch all your buns! If you're an evil witch, I will punch you for fun! Is this really a dance all the kids are doing these days? Oh yeah, from some popular fantasy show where a girl hops into a memories of a guy! How absurd is that? <laughs> so, those people weren't demons? They were just wearing get-ups to pretend? They were hunters! A society of warriors who hunt down titans! People who... hunt down... titans? 
people who attack titans. I must make a manga about them. Fine, but only if we kill off a whole bunch of them. And they have to learn that the true titans were inside of them all along. Hunter may have been taken prisoner, but at least we are still together, Luz. <laughs> Let me go! I'll only kill him a little. Uh, it happened so fast. Also, you were the one who kissed me. Uh, the captain didn't see that, did she? Hmm. What's going on? Wait, is that... OMG, it's heading straight towards Luca! What should I do? Watch out! Uh, magic? Have I just awakened my powers? But how? Why now? His magic is so strong, and my power can absorb it. Mari had power since when? Miraculous Light! She activated her powers. Wait, is she... Did she just... Summoned a magical creature? Hello there, Marinette. I'm Tiki, and I'm so happy to finally meet you. Um, how do you know my name? Well, it's a long story, but if you're up for it, let me take you somewhere that will help me explain things to you. What is beyond those curtains will reveal everything to you. Wait, is it... <laughs> me? But how? Mm -hmm. uh, Octavia, dear, what should I say to Blitzy? He's asking if Luna is there with you. Tell him to fuck off! She's unavailable at the moment. Thanks for letting me chill out at your place. I can't imagine that would be effective for reading. Doesn't it hurt your head? Yeah, that's the point. You should try it. Alright then. Huh, this is nice. It's like less weight on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, what are you reading? Oh, who knows? I just grabbed a random book. It's the Hell's Guide to Cooking Cherubs. Oh, there's this wonderful cherub shortcake that Dad makes that's so good! What you reading, Feathers? Ah, this is an old book that Dad gave to me when I was really young. It's mostly about the different rulers. The lords and ladies, Satan and God. Life and death. Life and death? Yeah? Did you not know that life and death are real people? They've, like, what was it you said? top honchos? You're saying that there are two people who are even above Satan and God? Not exactly above. More like off to the side. I mean, if you want to meet them, we can. Do you even have to ask? Of course I want to meet them. Here it is. Now, this can be really exhilarating. Uh, okay. <laughs> See? Exhilarating. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I have to huff and I have to puff and blow your house in to get people to look me in the eye. Rarely do they come knock knocking on my door. Death? Do you remember me? Little Octi? Well, well, your highness. What are you doing here without daddy by your side? I'm old enough to be on my own. Ay, paraita, you are. Yet you are not. You brought to an alobo contigo. Hola, senorita. It is a pleasure. Hi, hey. Holy hell, I mean, m my pleasure, sir. Here for pleasantries, then. Well, come in. Come into the light. <laughs> my love, my lady. I bring you a gift. What did you bring me this time, Mutt? Octavia! My dear, you have grown so much. I am blessed to have you in my presence. I am honored to be your guest. Do I... Not until she addresses you. Ah, oh, Luna, pleasure. I have been waiting for you. I am honored to be your guest! Ah, uh, yes. I didn't know there was more than God and Satan. There's a lot you don't know just yet, Mia. But stick with us and we might tell you a thing or two. So, like, uh, your accent is really nice. I didn't know death was Spanish. And French and Umbudo and Lao, every tongue that life has breathed life into. And Latin and Coptic and Ronigo Ronigo, I kill languages as well. So yeah, this is life and death. My godparents. Uh, what? Adora, you won't, you won't mind if I, if I just give a little tiny ki- Hey, Adora! Ready to embarrass yourself again? Not this time! Take this! <laughs> hmm. Adora. Hey. Hey, Adora. Catra? What is it? Pay attention to me! Catra, my pages! 
<laughs> Catra, stop! Catra! Oh! Catra! What? Is your tongue made of knives? Basically. Catra, get up! I really need to use the bathroom. Hiss! Adora, Adora, wake up! Uh, what? Catra, what is it? Feed me! Oh my god, it's 4 a.m. Just wait. Feed me! Okay, okay! I love Catra. I love Catra. I love Catra. Adara, that is such an adorable mantra for your meditation. Though you really shouldn't be grinding your teeth if you want to relax. I love Catra. I really do. I'm definitely not furious that she's too lazy to clean her own litter box. Um, Catra, do you mind looking this way? Nyan, I, I want to be p p p petted. But you racist mother! I'm sorry. If the '85 show had the 2018 pairing, if the 2018 remake had the '85 pairing, I am going to murder your boyfriend. <laughs> Not if I kill him first. Ladies in a relationship together, tell me more of this novel concept. Thanks for inviting me over. Your room is really cool. But I have to ask. Thanks. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's just my hate shrine. Who's yours dedicated to? Visible discomfort. Everyone. Everyone has a hate shrine, don't they? Discomfort intensifies. <clears throat> you said everyone has a hate shrine. You said it was normal. Well, whoever the fuck told you it wasn't should be to blame here, not me. Octavia, dear, may we? May we have a talk? Yeah, Dad? I know that I may not have been a, a good father, and I've made a lot of mistakes that I can't make up for. Oh. But I want you to know that I'm very sorry, and if, if you're not comfortable staying here with me, then I don't want to force you to spend time with me. If you really want to stay with your mother, then I won't get in your way. Dad, where is all this coming from? Wh why are you saying all this? I read the text you sent me about how you hate staying here. They were very sharp, but I deserved it. Text? Can I see your phone for a moment? Dad, this contact is from my previous phone number. I didn't send this. What? But then who? Mom! Stella! Would it get up if you pretended I was a guy? Nope. <sighs> oh, Blitzy. Daddy's been hungry all day. Well, now Daddy's got a ripe snack all to himself, don't he? What the? Let's see how much you like it when you're being watched, sir. Oh yeah, right there, right there! Yeah, yeah, hold me up! Blitzy, you, you gone wild! Oh, knowing being watched makes this so fucking hot! What's wrong, honey? You've been in a sour mood ever since you got home. It's just, it's just not fair. <laughs> so, we weren't able to schedule Luna's voice actress again? Nope, now she's no bark and no bite. <laughs> Time to meet your new master. At last, I'm free! She can't be worse than Gabriel, right? Give up, Lila! Never! Nor will kill her! What? I said kill her! Okay! Free Noru! Isn't it amazing, Thomas? The fans love the movie! They sure do. Great job, Jeremy. I wish I could tell them how much I appreciate their support. Well, you can communicate with the fans through social media. Oh, you're right! I know, I'll reshare their stories. Wait, you shouldn't share that one. Why not? Because that's an illegal... Too late, already posted it. Lila? Hi, Mr. Zag. I just wanted to say I really enjoyed the English dub of your movie. But the English dub isn't out yet. Did I miss something? Jeremy, you just showed the entire fandom where to pirate your own movie. What? Don't worry, sir. You, you can make up for it by giving my blog a shout out. You've got your own blog? Miraculous movie two and three? You gotta add this to my story. Jeremy, no! My love, we're finally reunited. Hold the phone, what's going on? Hey, why am I glowing? 
Emily, please, there's no time to explain. Oh no, I hope my sweetheart is okay. Well, considering the circumstances, I'm quite alright, actually. Not you! I mean Andre! Uh, Andre? Yes, I loved him ever since I was young! I want to see him again. You do realize that we only have a few seconds left to live. What? Why is that? What have you done this time, Gabriel? I, um, you know, the miraculous. Are the miraculous all you think about? No, I... You know what? I've had it with you, Gabriel. I'm getting a divorce. But the wish... Ugh, <sighs> guess I'll die alone then. What have you done this time, Andre? What have you done this time, Gabriel? Gabe kittens, I'm back from New York! You're back so soon. What a pity. It was so nice and quiet without you. Huh? What Audrey sees. <laughs> ah! Gabriel grew his hair out so hot! I can't handle that much handsomeness! Ah. Um, what happened to Audrey? I'm not sure. Did you punch her? What? No! Oh, man. I would have liked that. Hmm? Damn, it's the same old filthy cat again. This thing's lucky my parents just moved out this morning. Otherwise, he'll stay homeless for days. <sighs> mm. Anyways, you got some bad rashes and scars on your back. Did you fight with some other stray cats? You little rascal. Damn, those scratches. I'll have to take him to urgent care. Tomorrow, after school. And plus, he's all cute. Why not keep him? Come inside. I'm busy with a school project. Well? Yeah, yeah. Next day at school. Come on, Uniyama. You'll slowly lose your basketball skills if you keep on napping. Shut up. I didn't get to sleep at all last night. Fine, then. We'll head out. School. Oh, yeah. I'm in school. Why the heck did I even come? <sighs> oh, hi. You really look like you haven't slept in days. Say, are you doing something important every night, Hanayama-kun? Uh, yeah. I was busy doing important errands. What must you be that busy for? You should take care of yourself more, you know? Anyways, what brings you here, Mafuyu? Are you supposed to go and eat lunch? Uh, sorry, it's just instincts. To look out for people I care about. Hmm. Hmm. You really look like... Look like that guy with the grumpy look. You've got the same deep blue eyes and your eyes are both slender. And both of you have nice black hair. What's he playing at? Anyways, I'll kiss your forehead. Hey, kiss? <laughs> okay! Uh, darn, sorry, my bad. What the hell? Watch where you're going next time! God damn, I already said I was sorry. Accidents happen especially when you're that short. I'm heading this way, in case you might bump into me by accident again. What? Does he want me to try and be friendly any longer? Look at the way he stomps if I'll do anything. Ah, he's just very weird sometimes. I don't get it why he acts like that. This has been going on for two hours now. Jeez, I didn't mean to bump into him that hard. What the hell is wrong with him? Am I that terrible? Kageyama? More like weirdo Yama. <laughs> what did I ever do to him? That's it, he left me with no choice. I'll punish him with the worst thing a cat can ever do. Four hours later, 